guys, Crystal here. I hope y'all are enjoying a very beautiful keto life. Today I am bringing to you guys a keto low carb berry coffee cake. Try and say that all at once. <laughs> I'm also going to be making a sugar free icing to go on top of that berry coffee cake. So let's get started. We'll start our cake with one egg. I put a little piece of butter in the souffle that's going to house the cake. I'm going to mic that for about 15 seconds. So in our egg, we are going to add four tablespoons of almond flour. of luscious vanilla. My most favorite thing is vanilla. Ooh. Went over a spill a little bit, but that's okay. Extra vanilla makes things extra better. So. so we have our sweetener, our cinnamon, our vanilla, baking powder, almond flour. Let's get that mixed up. We're going to add yogurt to it as well. I'm going to stir this up first, then we'll add the yogurt. And then we will put I have some mixed berries, about a fourth a cup of mixed berries. And of course, we are using that Chobani Greek plain yogurt. This is going to kind of give that coffee cake that coffee flavor. The coffee cake flavor. Add a little yogurt to it. Some recipes call for sour cream. You could use sour cream as well. I love to use yogurt. Right, get that yogurt in there. Make sure we scoop all of that out of there. All of that goodness. And this yogurt's wonderful for adding more protein to your diet as well. Yogurt is a healthy source of protein. So mix that yogurt up in there really good. are going to take this and place that in our souffle. Add a little bit more almond flour. It seems kind of wet. You can see it kind of looks a little bit soupy when I move it around. So add a little bit more almond flour to it. So maybe four and a half tablespoons of that almond flour. Oh, that did the trick. Now it looks a little bit thicker. All right. So we're going to take and add this batter to our souffle. Ooh, it smells like coffee cake already. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take these berries, place them in this bowl, and mic those for a few seconds just so we can fold the berries into the cake batter. So about 15, 20 seconds in the microwave because those berries are frozen solid. So we want to kind of get those a little mushed up so we can fold them right into that cake batter and then I'll be showing y'all how to do the icing. Ooh, isn't that the best part? The icing on top of the coffee cake. Ooh, good stuff. Alright, we've got these berries just 
melted a little bit. You can see they're kind of kind of mushy already, and that is fabulous. That's just what we want. So we're gonna fold those berries right into that cake batter. Get every last drop in there. And we are gonna put this in the microwave for a minute and a half. And while that is in there, we are going to start making our icing for this beautiful coffee cake that we're making. So, three packets of your sweet and low. We are going to add a little bit of water to that. We are going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla to that as well. And we are also going to add a tablespoon of almond flour. About a half a tablespoon of almond flour. We don't want to add too much, but we do want our sauce to get a little bit on the thick side. So we'll just give that a little stir. And you want to kind of watch this in the microwave too, because as it starts to cook, you might have to add a little bit more flour to kind of give it that thick, syrupy kind of icing texture, that kind of glaze, glaze texture that we love so much on our coffee cakes. All right, you guys, I'm going to pop this in the microwave and we'll see what we've got. Let's see how this cake is coming along. Just a couple more seconds. We're almost done. Woohoo! I cheated, I cheated, I had to take a peek. It's looking beautiful though. It smells amazing as well. All right, let me get my little mittens out. Ooh, look at that beautiful coffee cake. Oh my goodness. We are gonna go ahead and microwave our icing. Hold this with the mittens and show that to you guys. So y'all can see that beautiful coffee cake. Ooh, that butter and that souffle is amazing. Stopping the cakes and the tarts and the keto bread, that just a little bit of butter just stops everything from sticking. It's so amazing. Makes for easy cleanup too. All right, let's check on our icing and see how it's coming out. y'all's comments on these recipes if you're trying them if you have a new twist on the recipe um, I would love to hear you guys feedback I think we'll make it for just a few more seconds just a little bit more enjoy and making these recipes so much and eating them as well that's the best part right getting to eat what we make should be a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. flour is a little thick, but that is going to set nicely in the refrigerator, give us that nice icing topping on that coffee cake. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos, and I ask that you please like and subscribe, and I shall return shortly with that tasting of the blueberry coffee cake. Thanks, guys.